finally, here we are in the Jag, taking it on a little adventure. Now, every first Saturday of the month, or more or less every first Saturday of the month, throughout the year, there is a Jaguar meet that's hosted over at the British Motor Museum. And since January, well, actually probably even last year, I've been trying to get my car there, because I'd love to take it and see all the other cars that are there too. But at least in January and February, the car was in a garage of some kind because of all of those things that we talked about a million times on the channel. But today, I do have the car. It's running, it's driving nicely. And so it's March the 4th, it's the first Saturday of March. And so we're on the way to the British Motor Museum for this Jag meet now. This will be the first time that I've actually, I guess, used the Jag for something fun. So this is really exciting actually. And I'm so glad we've got the car to this point where this is possible. So about 45 miles to go. We're on these nice A roads at the moment and I think it's on the motorway for the rest of the time. But yeah, when I get there, I'll check in with you and we'll have a look around at some of the tasty stuff, hopefully, that's, that's parked up. Yeah, now this is a downfall with this car that I forget every time. Thank you. Cheers. I think, oh, let's go to the drive through and then realize that the window doesn't work. <laughs> so you just gotta open the door and pretend like you're normal. Bang! <laughs> See where the white F type is? Yeah. If you can reverse park next to him, that'd be brilliant. Wait, wait, are the one right down there? Yeah. Yeah, the black wheels. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Perfect. The door. Huh? The door is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the Jaguars. Okay, so we made it then to the meet. Lots and lots of Jags, as you'd expect. Lots of F-types, lots of XKs. That's actually the first other S-type I've seen. Doesn't seem to be many of those around. And look, oh look, there's an XF in a similar color to the S-type. Don't know what that is, it's more greeny. But some nice people here, clearly. Big enthusiasts and yeah, probably 100, 200 Jaguars all here. I don't think I've ever seen this many Jaguars in one place. This has to be, I don't know if you guys know, but one of the biggest meets anywhere in the UK, I'm sure. I absolutely love this generation of XK. That colour is absolutely stunning. No idea what it is, but that with like a cream interior would be perfect. Maybe one day we'll have a we'll have an XK on the channel. We've got another XK here. This one's a non-R, but look, it's got a green roof. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the interior on here. So we've got an S-Type here with a cool number plate. And um, this is a three litre. And I've only seen a few other S-Types, obviously mine being the four litre. I'm just wondering now if there are any other four litre S-Types here. That's very cool. That's an XK RS. I've found another S-Type, although this one doesn't have the badge that tells me the displacement. Is there any other way I can find out? Oh, it's because it's a facelift. So it's definitely not a four litre then. Although it is, ah, it is the 4.2. Assuming that that badge is not a fake. I've gone round everywhere and I think I can pretty safely say at the moment at least, we're the only pre-facelift four litre V8 S-Type here. Which I think is pretty cool and all the more reason to justify spending abhorrent amounts of money on keeping that thing on the road. Because they're clearly, we're at a Jaguar meet and there's not a single other one here. So feeling good about that right now that we're keeping it driving okay so if you do come down to the british motor museum and get yourself a ticket you'll be entered into this secret garage of what more or less every single jaguar you can think of that is the i forget what it's called but the prototype or here we have xkr xk the older xkr we have the one that was it die another day i think this one featured in uh, in the james bond film the xjs is over here very very lovely some E-types over at the front. But this is more my sort of era, the 90s shape XJ through to the noughties. Then we've got the latest generation XJ there. This thing is absolutely stunning. It's like some sort of Daimler, well, I'll read the label, shall I? Daimler Corsica convertible. But this thing is absolutely beautiful. Oh, green wheel. 
I absolutely adore that. I need a green wheel in my life. And here we go, a very, very beautiful S-Type R. Now this thing will probably be, I don't know, less than 10,000 miles on it. It's absolutely pristine. And uh, you can see here, there's not a mark anywhere on it. These things are always really special to see. Jaguar XJ220. I remember Jeremy Clarkson driving one of these and describing it as being as wide as Arizona. And when you see it in the flesh, you sort of know what you're talking about because the thing is gargantuan. So this gorgeous thing, as you can see from the sign, was Princess Diana's 1987 XJS V12, which she ordered to transport around her two sons. And although this camera's not really picking up the interior very well, you can see it's got sort of tweed inserts on the seat. Absolutely fantastic. They have here in this service department this S-Type, admittedly it's a, a diesel one, but wrapped in this livery, which gives me, let's just say, ideas for my S-Type. Although having said that, I do absolutely love the way it looks now. So there's another room upstairs above all of those Jaguars containing, well, all sorts of other things, including Range Rovers. This is what I wanted to see. An early L322 Range Rover, just like the Giverny Green one that I had, although not in the best of colors, but this thing, this really makes me miss my one. Absolutely pristine in there. Probably, again, delivery mileage on this thing. But, oh, I really miss that L322 I used to have. This is surely the best sounding car here. It's an XK RS. Really don't see many of these. I don't think I've ever seen one that's not in this blue color, but yeah, these, these are absolute monsters. I would love, I'd love to have one of these or even have a little go in one at some point. Absolutely fantastic things. And here we are back at the S-Type. And I have to say, it's really nice to see this sat here because it, it just looks great actually. It's a really lovely example, especially after seeing some of the other cars, it's not like stand out bad or anything, my S-Type, and seems to be the only pre-facelift four litre V8. So um, really happy with that. And I'm super glad that we finally managed to get this down to, down to a car meet. It's great to finally bring this thing out and, and start to enjoy it. Okay, so we've left the meet now. I've got the world's most beautiful chauffeur enjoying a drive in the Jag. You've not driven this for a while, haven't you? I haven't. I have to say, that was a very enjoyable experience. It was lovely to meet a few fellow Jag owners and to see all of those wonderful cars in one place. Definitely an event uh, I recommend you guys try and go to. It's the first Saturday of every month, although check the website because it's not every month, at the British Motor Museum here in, mm, near Birmingham somewhere. So um, I'm sure I'll be back. So if you do plan on going, maybe I'll see you there at the next one. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different video. It was great, as I said, to bring the Jag out to an event. The first time in the four or five months that I've owned the car now. And uh, well, the next event is that will probably be my wedding. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video and uh, I'll see you all very, very soon. seconds now <laughs> unacceptable how quick do you want them to make it three seconds that's unrealistic i want to literally order the coffee and throw it at me <laughs> as i'm driving off i catch it <laughs> nice window <laughs>